what's up guys, The Books here again, welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and Rob's Realism mod. Super excited to be back with another battle. Today we're witnessing a very, very bloody fight between German troops stationed in Normandy and Allied troops that have just landed in Normandy. And these aren't any German troops, they're actually SS, so it's going to be a very, 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 very fierce fight. Um, the Allies are definitely gonna feel the pressure of this one. Look at that tiger up there and all that mechanized infantry. Oh boy, it's gonna be bloody. So, um, the Germans are stressing to kick the Allies out of Normandy, back in the water, and the Allies are obviously landing tens of thousands of men and equipment, and uh, they're gonna try and blitz into France. They want to establish a front line as far away as possible from the beaches. I mean, you don't want to be anywhere close to that, so um, there's a lot of time at stake here. I mean, a lot of um, decisions that have to be made, and um, you have to make a lot of sacrifices and take a lot of great risks. Um, a lot is on the, the line for both factions right now. The Germans are are essentially risking to have the Allies spread very far into France, and uh, the Allies are essentially risking being kicked out and, you know, a, a repeat of Dunkirk, but not as peaceful as, as Dunkirk actually was compared to what it could have been if Fiddler would have pressed. Um, but anyway, or pressed on, you know what I mean. So, um, very excited to see this one go down. The map is beautiful photorealistic masterpiece made by a guy called Grizzly. Everyone in the comment section, if you guys want to see more beautiful maps and battles made by Grizzly, or at least maps, I've actually tailored the battle, but um, wow, look at this. It's so beautiful. It's very realistic. It's very natural, organic. I love this. So fresh looking, and the detail is just insane. If I had the time to do this and also make all the missions and editing and videos, then this is exactly what I would like a map of mine to look, but I probably couldn't get close to this. The 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 use of elevation here is fantastic. I love this. So write in the comment section like you're awesome, Grizzly. Make more maps. You're fantastic. We love Grizzly. Um, bloody fantastic work, and I hope to see more. He's actually got another map already done that I'm sitting on and that I'm <laughs> all ready to work on later. So that's going to involve similar uh, a similar setting and, you know, allied and German troops in Normandy. It's going to be cool, but it's going to be very different. But I'm very, very excited. I think without further ado, we can click start and uh, watch this battle go down. The Germans have uh, deployed a mechanized SS company um, from a tank division, of course. Um, we have a Tiger participating right now, but there are more units in the area. The Germans don't exactly know what they're facing, but they have intel suggesting that the uh, that um, Allied paratroopers from the 101st, or US paratroopers rather, landed here during the night. Um, or not during the night, that was actually yesterday, obviously, because this is June 7th. They landed on the night of June 6th. But that they've uh, landed in the area and they've regrouped here after fighting during the day previously. And uh, they've kind of rested here during the night. They're grabbing a few cigarettes and relaxing, cleaning their guns. I don't I don't think they're expecting a German counterattack this soon. Um, could be the, uh, you know, some intelligence service error or something like that. But uh, they're about to have a very, very nasty morning wake-up call. As the Tiger is moving up here, the German infantry has been deployed on both sides. Their objective is to clear out this town and prevent any more infantry from using, or armor especially, from using the the road and junction here that goes in between. And the battle is more or less definitely on. I was talking about this T-junction here. This is a, a crucial spot in Normandy. It's a small village, right? It doesn't mean much strategically, but controlling... This T-junction here gives you a lot of access to a major area in Normandy, and uh, it's important to control that. So U.S. armor will definitely be coming down these roads here if they're going to make their way closer to Belgium and Germany and whatnot. So very, very vital for the uh, Germans involved here to put a hold to that. And you can't, you might be wondering why there were packs here. Like, what the, what the hell are the packs going to do? Well, the packs are being brought up to set up an AT defense in case the U.S. actually bring up armor from the beaches. One of the pack guns back here lost one of its crew members he's completely dead so the pack is gonna set up and return fire half track moving up to support the infantry and that tiger is gonna be blitzing its way through the town hoping that it can scare away all the airborne soldiers in the area and discourage them from fighting we have another pack moving up here on the right side as you can tell right here so that's gonna be cool very excited to see this German counterattack. D-Day plus one. This is the day after D-Day. Just so you guys catch my drift. Oh, Lord. This could turn 
very bad for the Germans or the Americans. And I'm thinking right now the Americans. Unless that bazooka... Oh, bloody hell, it's a miss. Turn, turn, turn. You guys gotta go, because when that tiger turns around, it's game over. Unless... That could have been perfect. I think they messed up the crew a little bit. Yep. They got it. They disabled the tiger. The airborne platoon from the 101st station in this town have so far done a lot of damage to this advancing um, SS section. Um... Not to ruin the... Oh, Lord. That pack, though. Retaliation. Not to ruin the immersion, but let's look at casualties. A lot of the German infantry from the SS platoon, the mechanized SS platoon that was deployed here, have been killed and kind of prevented from moving further in. It's, uh, it's coming to a little bit of a halt. So the Germans, they're not doing as good as they anticipated, and time is running out. This is D-Day plus one. This is the day after D-Day. I mean, you have no idea. I mean, do you understand how much this day matters, everything that happens today? Yesterday obviously meant a whole lot more, but the day after, when all the communication has been set up, all the troops have been deployed and, and organized, and all the battle plans have been made up, like, this is fucking important. This is going to set the course for the weeks to come in Normandy. That pack is doing good, though. It's uh, putting the airborne on the run back here. They're, they're pulling back. They can't fight that pack all the way back in there. They don't even know where it's at. Anyway, this is a good stalemate right now. German infantry finally catching up with the Tiger. They should have been here previously. Oh, jeez. It's too late. <laughs> cool. American uh, troops from uh, an infantry division and most likely the 2nd Armored Division have arrived here. Finally, this might just be a front party. Uh, there might be a whole uh, armored division behind this, currently advancing here. Um, so this is just an armored platoon arriving, or at least part of an armored platoon. Some mounted infantry, some dismounted as well, coming in to relieve the airborne here. I don't think they expect the Germans to be attacking the airborne. They've had no communication with them earlier this morning, so... They're too surprised to see that there are airborne troopers running about the place, waving their hands. we got Germans in the area, and they probably heard the gunshots previously. So they're going to depo deploy quickly and assess the situation. Both of the Shermans are going to avoid the main road, and I think that's a pretty good idea. Pack back here, holding it down. We have more... Hmm, interesting. Oh, jeez. I don't think anyone bargained for this kind of uh, massacre, but uh, people will die today. I'm telling you that. This is one of those battles that just keep getting escalated and escalated. It was meant to be a German front push to kind of scout out the area, essentially knock out some airborne troops in a village, um, and to control the T-junction, but it's turning into a full-on battle here between a German SS division and an American armored division. This is pretty, pretty intense, if you ask me. Ooh, nice. Is that Sherman down? Yeah, Sherman down, penetrated and down. One of the packs back here actually provided a nice shot there, so that's good for them. We have a, however, got another, ooh, EC-8 moving in. Half track down. Ooh, part of this uh, kind of fence, rock fence is being just shot down. But they're going to try and set up a firing line here on the high ground, and a lot of the buildings back there are going to be taking a lot of fire. Sherman is flanking around, though, and this pack has been knocked out, so it is not going to be there to defend and hold that flank. I wonder if the Germans actually know that. Oh, another platoon has arrived. Two Shermans and an EC-8. Plenty of infantry. The Germans are going to have a lot of allied forces to deal with here. Tiger and more mechanized infantry moving up, though. And we also have an assault gun. That is no longer an assault gun. That thing is going to be a wreck on the road. Crap. Oh, crap. This is really intense. Can the Tiger deal with the remaining armored platoon? I have no idea. We're about to find out. Pack is still active, though. That's very good. And this Tiger, versatile and mobile, it's going to be uh, going on a bit of a Sherman hunt here. Oh, look at all those AT grenades. 
Messing with the wrong SS infantry in the area, but it's still active. That might be the end of it, though. Jesus Christ, those hand grenades are fatal to the German soldiers handling them. Well, that isn't good for anyone involved. Pack is still active, and that Tiger is taking so much fire now. This is really intense. I have no idea how this is going to go. But what used to be a very peaceful-looking French village is now just starting to feel the uh, consequences of this allied invasion in Normandy. Oh, Lord. And this Tiger, what's wrong with it? Has it been detracked? It's lost a crew member. I think it's having a hard time. Act yeah, it's been... Tracks are down. I'm wondering if it can even target the any of the allied forces with the gun. It's kind of tilted upwards. It's going to be taking a pounding. It's, it's animal abuse right there. That pack has been abandoned. It's turning into quite a bloody fight now between some of the remaining German infantry and US infantry in the area. Most of the airborne seem to have been killed, though. I'm sure there's plenty alive, but... Uh, wow. Is that tire still active? It sure is, and it's returning fire now. It's finally getting back on the track. I wonder what it thinks. There's, well, there's two active Shermans over here. There's a third one down there, and there's uh, an EC-8 up here putting some serious long-range fire on it. Look at all the smoke clouds down there. That is cool. That is really, really cool. Tiger finally eliminated, and the crew is going to retreat. This has been a bloody fight. Two Tigers down. Plenty of half-tracks, packs. But the Shermans, or the the, uh, the Americans, rather, uh, they're looking at two Shermans destroyed in this sector over here. And I'm not getting the total, though. There has to be... There's one down here, but it seems to be okay. Tracks down, so... Fewer casualties for the Americans than I expected. Um... And as always, every time we hit that start button, you're going to have a different result. Uh, this w is, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, having played this game and knowing this editor and how it works and all for a very long time, um, a very, very, very fair scenario, despite the numerous uh, US tanks. I think a lot of people, if taking six Shermans up against two Tigers, would think that it's really unfair for the Americans. But when it all comes into play, and uh, oh, and don't forget the assault gun that went out really early on to a very accurate shot from a Sherman. And all these packs and all. So it's a very, very fair scenario, but it's going to go different all the time. Infantry have done well today. We're going to take a look at casualties before we wrap this one up. We'll look at Germans in uh, in yellow and uh, Americans in red. And as you can tell, there's a pretty clear distinction and difference here between the casualties. The Allies have mainly ta taken casualties defending the, the front of this village here facing the um, east, I suppose. East, south, north, you name it. Not Definitely not west, though. Most likely not west. And um, over here, we can see that there's just uh, plenty of casualties on the German side. They have a half-track back there that's still active. But it's going to remain down there to to guard the uh, the smaller junction there. I'm not sure if the Allies will push out of this forest uh, to meet up with other German troops. That I think they're, they're happy to be alive, and they're happy to have done the damage against the Germans that they have. Very cool battle. The... Uh, Oh, look at him walking around there. Dun, dun, dun. Patrolling. You see me patrolling. Okay. Not going to go into that. But um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be similar. Most likely bloodier. Include more tanks. It's just going to be good all good. It's going to be D-Day plus 2. And I might go on like this with D-Day plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. You name it. And uh, we'll see when we get bored of it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a historical scenario. But it's a fictional battle. So... Very much plausible, in my opinion. Very cool indeed. What's going on, on down here? Oh, that Sherman's about to spot the half-track, and we'll allow it to. We'll see what it does to it. I'd love an explosion. Thirty cal suppressing it first. Main gun fire, but um, didn't quite take it out. Just gonna try and escape gonna be shot and it's gonna be torched cool nice little smoke cloud down there hope you guys enjoyed this fight and i will see you guys soon again ciao